Hello, everybody. I am Paul Throt from Throt.com, and I am here today with Chris Hoffman from The Intelligence to talk about some exciting news. So, Chris, maybe you could speak a bit about The Intelligence and, and your work at Windows Intelligence, the newsletter, and what readers can expect. Yeah, absolutely. So the intelligence, we're a small uh, company uh, or new company. We launched the newsletter back in July 2023. Um, really, it's an outgrowth from JR's excellent Android intelligence newsletter. It's a Windows version of that written by me. Um, mm -hmm. I should say who I am if you're not familiar with it. I, <laughs> I used to be editor in chief of How To Geek, so I, I, I grew that. Uh, I was there for a long time. I've written for PC World, I've written for PC Mag. Um, all over the place, but I, I've always just been really invested in this idea of tech service journalism, news you can use, um, like mm -hmm. helpful stuff. Um, so I think that's where that's where I come to the newsletter from. And then Windows Intelligence, we uh, the big product is the flagship newsletter on Friday. So I send you things to know, things to try, and something just for fun. And uh, I'll start with it just for fun because that's last. I I like to <laughs> often do nostalgia. I'm covering some stuff around Clippy. Uh, just like cool stuff around that but you know things to know and things to try probably especially things to try is the is the core part of it um you know things to know is the most important news stories of the week mm -hmm. the actual most important stuff what really matters not just the noise things to try is a combination of new stuff to try because microsoft is constantly adding things and changing things and things are trickling out and then also things that you might not remember. You know, I've honestly been writing for so long and sometimes I'll come across something I maybe wrote five years ago. I totally forgot this keyboard shortcut. I totally forgot this feature. So even for myself, being a person who knows that, um, you know, having this kind of reminder and it's also in a, in a quick format. I, you know, I, I really love the newsletter format. It's fast, it's quick. You can scroll through it. There's not a lot of ads. Um, it's just this one thing you can look at each week. It's not, you know, so much on the web, like you're clicking on a story, you're clicking on a story, you're clicking on a story, and they, you know, it, it's it's wordy and it's just driving clicks, but it's this concise, short, short and sweet, really to the point, really valuable, respectful of your time kind of format. So, you know, if you're interested in Windows and you want to learn cool new stuff, like some of it's cool old stuff that you haven't used yet, some of it is cool new stuff that is brand new and coming out of insider builds or uh, mm -hmm. weird third party tools that you wouldn't hear about unless you're, you know, really digging into the news. Um, I think this is a newsletter for you. Yeah. I, I, I love the newsletter. I, I love how direct it is. I like your personality. I like your knowledge and, and the way it's presented and all that stuff. But I, I, I think possibly my favorite part of it is the tips, you know, and I was looking at the most recent, issue as we record this program a bunch of keyboard shortcuts i love that stuff you know i i and like you i i've probably forgotten more than i remember or have known and uh it's always interesting like right right that's the way you do that you know yep. um and on that note i be, because we were going to re, be, be recording this video i asked chris if he wouldn't mind giving us a selection of those types of tips that you'll find in the newsletter um and so uh, I hope this is uh, wasn't too embarrassing for you, but I asked you if you know you wouldn't mind maybe coming up with, um, you know, five of your favorite most recent tips. Um, and so we can, yeah, let's step through that. Absolutely. Um, number one thing I always love recommending to people is Microsoft Power Toys. It's not built in. I get emails from people that say, "Why isn't this built into Windows?" But I mean, it's a bit more of a power user tool, but. This right. is my number one must have application for Windows. It's really incredible. It delivers this big package of useful tools. They're all modern. None of them have, none of them are going to shove ads down your throat. They're all in one place. They were all work on the latest version of Windows. And there's so many useful tools. There's like a tool for making any window always on top. There's mm -hmm. a keyboard manager for remapping any keyboard key. There's a bulk rename tool. There's an alternative application launcher that I love named Power Toys Run, and it can launch applications. It can do more than launch applications. It can launch websites. It can perform searches, and it uses your default web browser and default search engine choice, not just Bing and Edge. So there's an upgrade over the start menu a lot of ways. And, you know, I so I, I'm really in love with Power Toys, and uh, one of the things I love doing is keeping an eye on the release notes because they're always adding little new features and tools. So, 
you know, if you subscribe to a newsletter and that's the kind of thing I'm sharing where, you know, most people are not crazy like me. They're not reading the power toys. Release <laughs> notes. You know, I'm your friend yeah. who is reading the release notes and letting you know what's new. Love it. Yeah. Actually power toys is one of those things I need to add to the windows 11 field guide. It's actually not part of the book. Um, and I also, I, a lot of these features do end up over time making their way into windows, which is kind of interesting, right? Some of them, yeah, some of yeah. them, and, and some of them are probably just a little too complicated or too power usery, and they, and right. they won't. Right, right, right. But okay, back cool. in the day, I had like 10 different utilities installed from all these different freeware manufacturers to do all these things. Yeah, now you can just have the one with a nice, it's got a nice dashboard, and yeah, very nice. All right, what do you got for number two? So in terms of Windows 11, I really love the snipping tool and where it's going. And this is the kind of thing that if you're not a Windows geek he's all, who's always paying attention to the latest stuff, you'll miss. Mm -hmm. The snipping tool can now make uh, videos of your desktop in just a few clicks. Any Windows PC, you don't have to install anything. Back in the day, you had to install something. Back in the day, you had to like sometimes fiddle with... I would tell people you can use the game bar. Well, you have to pretend that your desk, the application is a yep. game and then you can record it. Horrible, right? But the snipping tool does that. This then the snipping tool also now has OCR. Um, so you optical character recognition, like you can take a screenshot of anything on your computer screen, or you can take a photo and you can copy text from it and copy paste it into another program. So uh, the snipping tool is really amazingly powerful. And if you haven't used it lately on Windows 11, you should really try it. Yeah, couldn't agree more. I, I just updated the book. For this tool uh because there's been some big changes lately including that uh ocr feature that you just mentioned and in sort of a historic way the snipping tool is now the default action for the print uh screen button uh key That's for right. the first time in the history of windows they've changed it so um fascinating but i think i agree with you it's matured to the point where this is it's it's just so great for so many uses and uh it it kind of deserves that so that's great all right, uh, I think number three. So number three, and I know a lot of Windows geeks are gonna think this one's obvious, but I am <laughs> in, in love with Snap. And whenever I use like a Mac, at, the window management just doesn't work for me in a lot of ways. And I'm, one of the re things I've just realized is it's because the lack of Snap. Like, so I'm constantly using Snap and just dragging a window title bar to either side of the screen and like that. but. Um, the keyboard shortcuts are really powerful with it too. A lot of people don't realize that you can hold the Windows key and press left or right, and then the window just shoots over there. You can mm -hmm. hold the Windows key, press up and left, and it'll go to the top left quadrant. Um, and then also on Windows 11, you know, this is one of those things that I think uh, I, you know, it's talked about, but I don't see a lot of people using it. Is if you mouse over the maximize button, you get this whole grid to choose from. You can also press Windows Z to open that. So. It's funny because that's the kind of thing Microsoft added then they said it's to make it easier to use for people, but I don't know how many people in the real world are using this and discovering it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I agree. The discoverability is kind of limited to when you move a window around, you get that little pane at the top. Yeah. But yeah, I like so many things in Windows, if you know the keyboard shortcuts, I mean, it's always the most efficient way. And it just got better as well in a Snap did in I can't remember if it was in Windows 11 23H2 or part of Moment 5, the most recent update, but they have suggestions now for Snap. So, um, you know, if you you can you can actually get a couple of supposedly AI-based ideas about based on which window you ha are trying to snap and then what are the windows you have open, it will make suggestions. And uh, if you choose one, they all go there automatically, which is really cool. So, yeah, that was another actually awesome. another big update for the book because that stuff, you know, that stuff's amazing. All righty, let's see, uh, number four. Um, number four, um, it's now really easy to find your Wi-Fi password on Windows. This is another one of those new things that sneaks out in the release notes of an insider mm -hmm. build and then almost no one pays attention to it, notices except people like me and, and Paul who are just on top of this stuff all the time. But you can now in Windows 11, go into the settings app, go under network and internet, and choose the properties option for your network. And then when you scroll all the way down, you'll just see a quick view Wi-Fi security but key button. Click that and you can see your key. I think they're actually moving that button to the top of the window where it belongs. So it will make more sense. But you know, this is super convenient. I mean, I'm really happy to see Microsoft doing things like this in Windows that are so obvious and, and so, you know, the kind of thing that normal computer users need and or just anyone, because back in the day, you would have to open the command prompt and write the right command. Yes. And it was just <laughs> a pain, right? I was wondering if you were going to like even try <laughs> to explain how terrible that was before, but yeah. It was not good. 
Yep. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times it's, it's work or home uh, where you're out somewhere in the world and or work or personal, I guess. And uh, what's the Wi-Fi password <laughs> is yep. the, you know, it's like, oh, I connected, but I, I don't know. Or I auto connected because it's a place you've been there before, or perhaps or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a that's a key addition. And that's one I actually have to add to the book. So that's great. <laughs> and finally, um, number five. So one of my favorite little shortcuts is uh, the task manager. Most people hit, con it's, you know, it's uh, muscle memory now. People hit control, delete, and they click task manager, and that's fine. But you can also just press <laughs> control, shift, escape, and open yes. the task manager, and boom, there you go. Um, you know, it may be if something's frozen really badly, it won't work. But if you're just opening the task manager to look at processes or deal with startup apps or look at system resource usage or whatever hardware you have, it just boom. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'm always using that one. Yeah, I, I'm i surprised how often I access Task Manager. And when Windows 11 first came out, remember they had removed that right-click taskbar. Terrible. Shortcut, right? So I actually trained myself. The way I did it at that time was it was Windows key plus X brings up that kind of quick link menu or whatever it's called that's behind the start menu, kind of when you right-click the start menu. And uh, Task Manager is there as well. I mean, task, you can probably launch tax manager seven or eight different ways in windows but uh yeah like so many things uh another great keyboard shortcut which i love and then uh just really quick access to a tool that like i said i use i use i think i use it every single day which is yeah. i don't know if that's sad or <laughs> i don't know i don't know what that says about me or windows but um but it's a thing Same. so yeah so yeah this is i mean this these are great examples of the type of information you can get from your newsletter, which is incredible, and I love that. Um, but we have some uh, some new things coming as well, and I I hope everyone knows and understands. Hopefully, people have subscribed. But if you haven't, uh, the newsletter is free; it's available to everybody. Um, we at Therat.com have a premium program for people who want to support the site. And uh, can have an ad-free experience. They get uh, access to all of our premium articles and so forth. But over at the Intelligence, you're doing something similar. And and if you folks want to support Chris and Jr. and everyone else over at the Intelligence, you have uh, an insider, an Intelligence Insider paid membership. Could you maybe explain that a little bit? How that works? What you get? Etc. Yeah, absolutely. So number one thing is the newsletters, Windows Intelligence and Android Intelligence, if you're into that sort of thing, are free. Um, <laughs> yeah. So the, the base newsletters, you get a uh, thing uh, based on Android Intelligence, uh, you get uh, things to know and things to try. So kind of a top hits of news and some cool tips. Some of them are newsy, some of them are new stuff, some of them are, you know, forgotten uh, keyboard shortcuts from 20 years ago that no one's talked about in the past 15 years. Mm -hmm. um, then good stuff like that. And then uh, sometimes just for fun, type, like nostalgia and stuff like that. But, you know, if you're subscribing and you want to support us, um, that's awesome. This is our supporter program and we open it. Uh, we're opening it for signups um, uh, for uh, every quarter, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to support us, you can, you know, pay to support us. You get an upgraded newsletter each week. If you're into Android intelligence, you'll get that as well as part of it. If you're just one Windows intelligence, you can just get that. Uh, each week I dive into some new hardware related stuff. Um, I, I look at something related to Office. Sometimes it's a tip. Sometimes it's news about what's going on with Office or a new feature and I show that off. There's a reader help desk section where I answer questions from our community and you get access to that upgraded version of Android Intelligence too if you want. Um, we have a lot of our stuff. We have ad-free access to our website. We have ad-free access to our newsletters if you want. There's really just one little ad in the newsletter, but it's not much. But if you want to remove it, like absolutely, we will We will let you do it as a subscriber. But we have a searchable tip database. We have an archive of all the newsletters we've ever sent. We have in-depth super guides that we write just for um, subscribers. So I, I dive into like keyboard shortcuts and window management and upgrading. You know, everything you need to know about upgrading Windows 10 PC to Windows 11, even though Microsoft doesn't want to help you. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, we have an awesome community as well, complete with the help desk. You can come in and ask questions uh, and you get responses from myself and JR and everyone in the community. And it's really just a, you know, awesome way for you to support us and for us to give something back to you. But if you're just, you know, if you're on the fence or you just want to read the free newsletter, that's awesome. I'd love to have you subscribe. And then uh, you, there's also a mega bundle, which I wonder if people even know about, <laughs> but um, we have, you know, in our joining of forces here, so to speak, um, there's a mega bundle that allows you to subscribe to 
Windows Intelligence and to Throp Premium at a reduced price. And next week, as we record this, uh, we're, you're running a promotion where this bundle will be half off uh, for the week as well. And I, I don't know that will I, if you are subscribed, you'll you'll get that, and you should subscribe. So if you're not subscribed, this is the time. Um, and again, like he's, like Chris said, it's it's free. There's no obligation whatsoever, but um, if you like what Chris does at Windows Intelligence and you like what I do at Throt Premium, um, this is kind of a neat way to, um, you know, save money and and get both. Yeah. So if you're interested in that, we're offering we offer a mega bundle with Intel. Our, we call it Intelligence Insider, our membership mm -hmm. and Throt Premium, and it's cheaper than if you were buy them separately. If you're right. already an existing Throt Premium subscriber, I mean, let me thank you on behalf of Paul um, for <laughs> supporting him. But sure. if you would like to support us as well, like we will be sending you a, a discounted rate to support us as well, if you like. And and if you just subscribe to Windows Intelligence, you'll be getting the um, information about, about that for you, uh, next week. Yeah. So there you go. So Chris, it's always great to speak with you. We, we actually talk privately <laughs> from time to we time, do. of course. And, uh, uh, I, I hope we can do more to, uh, work together in the future, but this has got a fun thing that you're doing. And, and I mean, I, I couldn't be happier with the newsletter. I, I assume everyone who has subscribed feels the same way. It's just, uh, like I said, such a huge improvement and, uh, a great publication. So thank you so much for that work. Thanks so much. Yeah, I'm really grateful to, uh, you know, be able to partner with you and be able to work with JR. And I, I'm, you know, really excited about this. I just love the newsletter format yeah. versus so much of what's done online, because it's not this endless kind of reading experience. Like it's this quick thing every week, uh, or, you know, we yeah. can multiple times a week, but it's quick, it, you know, it saves your time. There's not a lot of ads. And it's just, I, I just really love the format. It's useful. I, I, yeah. I, it's not noise, right? I, it, yeah, it is exactly. It, it's, yeah, it's exactly what I'm looking for. And I, I think for a lot of, for everyone really who visits throughout.com, this is the type of uh, publication you're looking for too. Thanks so much. Anyhow, for that. Yeah, right. you bet. Uh, well, anyway, thank you so much. Like I said, always great to speak with you and uh, we will talk again soon. Absolutely. Bye everyone.